I'm National Treasure Rachel Paris. I'm here on behalf of Dave, who this year for World Book Day have taken the 10 most boring books as voted for by you and given some of them a much needed revamp. You know the ones, the books that you were force fed in school, the books you gave up halfway through, books you pretend to have read because it makes you look more intelligent on Tinder. We did a proper survey and found out that 67% of Brits would love to read these literary classics if they were, well, just a bit funnier. So that's what we did. Enjoy. Preeminent among the pigs were three young boars named Snowball, Boris and Napoleon, whom Mr Jones was breeding up for sale. Boris was the biggest boar of them all. He bumbled around the sty, ordering the other animals to both go out and stay in. The only other animal of note was Starmer, the horse, who always felt that they horses were superior to the pigs and should be in charge as they had all the best ideas. Although he had yet to have an idea that anyone actually liked. I saw Gatsby standing on the lawn, holding his phone as far away from his body as possible, swiveling around in circles, holding a finger up. He was live streaming again. Listen, Gatsby FFs, if you want to make it like me, you have to work hard. Listen, I'm no saint. I may have come up through the ranks allegedly bootlegging liquor, supposedly. Don't sue me. I mean, sure, I made all the money I invested through bootlegging. But right now, I'm honest, Jay. I have the same 24 hours in the day as the rest of you. So if you want to get where I am, you just need to work harder. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag love the hustle. Hashtag create your dream life. Now, everyone, we have a new member of the group today. I'd like you all to welcome Heathcliff. Tell me about your childhood. Did you have brothers, sisters? At the mention of sisters, Heathcliff's eyes went black. He stood up from his chair and flung it across the room. He was really going off on one. He turned back to the rest of the group and cried, Kathy! Before darting out of the room, slamming the door in his wake. The first few days were unremarkable. We ate, we sang, we laughed, fished, smoked, and made some observations about our crewmates' races and religions, which I imagine in years to come might well be classed as unacceptable. We also took to studying cetology, the zoology of whales. Turns out they are quite remarkable creatures. Although I see little value in sharing the details. The end. See? So much better when we add a bit of Dave. Happy World Book Day, everyone.